Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to talk about the March meet uh, for ARC which was an ant weight and a beta weight fight. So here in front of me I have uh, Don't Need Roads and Not Again, my two drum spinners, one in each weight category. And I've made some minor upgrades to both of these. Neither of these things were really enough to do a whole new video on an update and also both of these have been on my channel in videos. Uh, very recently. So I just decided to do those up updates off camera. We're going to have a quick chat about them, then we're going to have a look at some fights, and then we're going to talk about, uh, yeah, how the upgrades and changes went. So uh, the first upgrade is I actually added some little feeder wedges here to the front of Don't Need Roads. And this was actually, some of these suggestions were actually your guys' suggestions in the comments. So if you have suggestions for my robots, do leave me a comment and I might actually even build them onto the robot. So this one was the feeder wedges on the front, which is to get in underneath an opposing robot and feed them up into the spinner. It also has the added bonus of meaning that the spinner actually doesn't touch the ground anymore, which was really good because the old version uh, it would touch the ground a little bit here and there, so I had to like buff it up with uh, tape on the underside to get it to spin correctly, which was always a bit of a touchy thing to do. Uh, so that's that one. There's not really been too much else done with that. It just had the electronics resoldered inside to make everything sit nicely. And then this guy over here, uh, you guys were talking about having the front uh, sections here splaying outwards in the last fight video that I did with this guy. Uh, so to combat that right down in the bottom there, and I'm not sure how well you're gonna see that, but right down in the bottom there, there is a uh, 3 16 inch bolt that runs from one side to the other and nylocks on, the either, on either end, which means that these parts now cannot move. They are pretty much rigidly locked where they are, which is great. That drum is going to uh, hold a lot better. And then on the wheels themselves, there are now captive um, nuts in there, but they're not actually captive nuts, they're like uh, heat insert type ones, which is really cool. And that means that I can lock the wheels onto the motor shafts better because that was the other issue that I really had with this guy uh, last time around. So yeah, there you go. That's the updates to these guys. Now let's go and have a look at the fights. So we're going to start with the ant weight fights and a very quick thank you to John Lee. I didn't actually bring any of my recording equipment down. I forgot that I didn't have enough space for it as well. Uh, so this footage is all from John, who is another member of ARC and comes out and fights every month and also actually manages to record everything every time. So huge thanks to him for getting all this footage out. And as you can see right off the bat, here. Uh, the drum is spinning really well. I am not really getting any huge hits and as you can see I'm vibrating around just a little bit but the drum has continued to spin this entire time which is better than most of the fights this guy ever gets into and yeah it's like I said it hasn't done a huge amount of damage but it keeps spinning and it's not hitting the ground so I'm really happy with that and then my opponent goes into the pit and I win that. Second ant weight fight and this one I'm actually a little bit worried about. This is against Blade Tip and Blade Tip is a uh, driven by a very good driver, but the drum did work and you saw just then that it threw blade tip up into the air And that's like basically the best the drum has ever worked. Unfortunately right here. I get a hit and the electronics die and uh, That doesn't help at all. We do get stuck together But the outcome of all of this is that my electronics are dead so that when we get unstuck uh, I can't do anything and it's all over. With the ants over we move over to the Beatles and this was my very first fight. As you can see I got some good hits in with the drum. However, uh, because the pits are open at all times I just kind of got muscled into the pits. So not having a good day so far I'm on to the second beta weight fight. This guy is basically just solid steel and right off the bat I started having weapon troubles and I wasn't really sure what this was so I turned the weapon off and then later on in the fight, I do decide to turn the weapon back on and see, and yeah, there we go, the weapon is back. However, the first hit actually knocks out something in the electronics, shorting out, uh, I think, breaking a dry joint on the switch, which leaves me dead in the water and out of there. Third and final beta weight fight for the day, and uh, things go well off the bat. So the drum spins up and I get some hits in and nothing's breaking. Uh, riding around on top of my opponent is never exactly where I want to be, especially with the open pits, and I got really quite lucky there. And then, unfortunately, I get very unlucky, and once again, the weapon breaks off in exactly the same failure mode that we've seen 
for four. And then of course it comes down to a pushing match and he's actually a wedge and I'm actually not a wedge. So you can basically see where this one is going. I do hold out for a little bit longer here. Uh, however, my drive is actually a little bit busted. That first hit or that big hit that broke the weapon did also damage the drive a little bit. So I can't drive forwards anymore. I can only drive backwards, uh, which was not fun uh, for this fight. However, I did manage to break his flipper uh, in that hit. So it was a kind of double weapon destruction hit, which was good. At least he didn't have a weapon that he could be uh, hitting me with. That was nice. But then, as you can see, he just slowly nudged me into the pits and that was pretty much that. So there we go, the fights weren't actually the greatest. I had another electronics failure in Don't Need Roads, uh, which was really disappointing because the weapon was spinning really, really well. And um, yeah, actually when it hit things, it did throw things quite high. Like it threw um, oh, whatever the other bot was. Yeah, it threw the second bot in that fight. Blade tip, it threw blade tip quite high in the air, which was really good. That was great to see. So I just need to sort out whatever that issue was with electronics. I think it's to do with the um, transmitter board that I'm using, the NRF chip. So I think there's something that I can do to kind of protect those boards a little bit better and make that all work a little bit nicer. I also want to swap out now and change away from the Team Panic blade. So that blade, uh, you might be able to read that, that way around. Uh, it says Team Panic in the blade. And I have a feeling that all of this lettering and stuff is actually what's causing the wobble in the blade. So the blade isn't spinning quite as nice as I want it to spin. So I'm hoping by swapping that blade out for a different blade, I actually might even be able to go slightly heavier with the blade. Um, I will then be good with all of that because it was kind of jumping around just a little bit, which didn't really help with driving or hitting people with weapons. So yeah, a few kind of very minor things to change in Don't Need Roads, but I think Don't Need Roads is actually going to be retired for another little while now, probably a couple of months. I have some bar spinner designs that I'm working on uh, right now. So I want to kind of put this guy just in the back seat for a moment and we'll build some bar spinners and then we'll get back to him later on. Um, yeah, and then this guy, this guy worked relatively well, actually. Um, there was a few kind of bits and pieces that went wrong, obviously, as you saw. So there was the, the link that was a dodgy solder job, and I'm pretty sure it was just a dry joint there, and when I resoldered that, everything was fine. Um, and yeah, then that final hit, that final hit was the same failure mode we've seen over and over again with these, and I worked out that these um, pieces of plastic that I've printed, especially these TPU ones, they have like a one mil gap between where the bearing sits and where the actual um, band runs, which is why they keep breaking like this. They, they're literally just too thin to do anything. And I did actually print some much, much thicker versions. Um, so if we have a look in comparison, they are huge in comparison. Uh, so these have a lot more plastic in between the bearing mount and where the band runs. However, um, basically, I, these, this didn't break. It didn't break until that final fight. So I thought I was good to keep using it and then of course in that final fight wasn't so good um yeah it broke and yeah was was not great uh so obviously that is something that i can improve on i think that these guys the big thick ones are that improvement but at the same time i would like to try and cast these uh in aluminium or get them machined out of aluminium or something i don't know yet um but that is definitely one thing that needs to change on this. The rod in the back there obviously held up really, really well. All of the hits that I took and made didn't force anything in here uh, to move, which was really good. And then the, um, the nuts in on the motor shafts work really, really well. In fact, almost too well. You can see in here, maybe just, I'm not sure where you are. There we go. So in here, this wheel is actually now busted, and why it's busted is not because the wheel is off the motor shaft, it is busted because uh, the motor shaft has actually come out of the gearbox there, like it's shattered the gearbox in that final hit. Uh, so that means that those things held on really, really well for um, the fact that it was literally just like a press, uh, a hot press nut in there, that held up quite well. Um, 
Yeah, on the whole though, this guy at the same time as Don't Need Roads, not again, is also going to be retired. Uh, there's just too much that keeps going wrong with this robot, so I want to do a whole redesign for a full new chassis on this um, at some point in the future. And in the meantime, as with Don't Need Roads, we're going to build a bar spinner, and that video might actually be out next week. The, the one that's out next week is definitely going to be a beetle weight, and it should be a very interesting beetle weight as well. So. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to check out, to stick around and check that one out. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.